Hey everyone, Koenig here, back with another D&D horror story for you today. In this story, the DM is, shall we say, a little angered at the player character's choice of race and job, and decides to be a little vindictive about it in the campaign. So with that all said, let's roll for initiative and get on with the story. Firstly, this happened some time ago, but I felt it fits perfectly here. Second, I am no longer in the group this happened with. Lastly, I'm on mobile, so apologies for spelling mistakes and punctuation and formatting. Now, on to the horror story. I'm on a five players in D&D 5e homebrew campaign, playing a variant of a human fighter. I know, I know, ooh, gross, disgusting, boring. Well, I'll play Sparkles the Eladrin Sorcerer next time and make sure all of my cantrips erupt in a shower of arcane glitter. I've always been a fan of the gritty aesthetic of medieval soldiers, and I wanted to hone in on that with my character. Hence came Victoria Ashthorn, human samurai fighter. I had an idea what I wanted, and during session zero, the DM seemed to love my idea. He asked, So are you a former soldier, or are you affiliated with the army? not knowing it could be my own downfall, so I say she's still affiliated. I wanted her to be a somewhat high rank, which the DM was opposed to. After some talking, he agreed to say I was a low-ranking officer since we were starting at level 3. I was more than fine with this. I roleplayed it as Victoria served in the war that ended a few years before the campaign began. She wasn't content to stand around in some fort during times of peace when she could be out in the world doing acts of good. So, she applied for leave and was granted the freedom to go out and adventure. But the DM said, You may be called back sometime, if the army needs you. I didn't think much of it beyond imagining it may be a small part of the campaign later on. I was excited to play my character. Multiple sessions later, the party is all level 5, and Victoria gets a letter. It's from the commander of her army, and he's calling her back to duty. No explanation. DM, is there a possible reason? Do I know if a war is brewing anywhere or conflict happening that might need me to return? Nope. The letter doesn't say why, but it's giving you a direct order from your superior. We didn't have any other plot hooks at the time, so the party went with Victoria to the fort so that I could report in. My plan was to enlist my party under my command so that we could continue to operate together. After discussing this with the commander, he said no and that he just needed me. This kinda confused me, and I asked the DM what this meant. He just feels it's better to have all soldiers accounted for and on base. He doesn't like that you're off wandering the world. So I try to make my case to the commander, saying we've been serving the country by doing acts of good and keeping the peace in ways that the army can't. But that makes him furious. He wants to have me arrested for vigilante justice. No chance for diplomacy. He attacks me when I show hesitation and we roll to initiate. Many rounds of combat later, the party is all unconscious thanks to this high level NPC and his guards. We wake and the party is set free, but Victoria gets executed. Just like that. That was it. This is when I started getting really mad at the DM. Me. You're just gonna kill my character because I didn't want to stop adventuring? What was your plan? DM. Me? I didn't have a plan. Your commander had a plan. He didn't like having a soldier wandering around without orders. It's nothing personal. You should have just complied. Me? Well, how was I supposed to keep playing if he wouldn't let me keep adventuring with the party? DM. Oh, you'd have to make a new character. That'd be story over for her. Fighters are kind of boring. They don't get to do much at later levels anyway. Play a paladin or a barbarian. <sighs> the rest of the players tried to call him out on his BS too, but the DM took it personally and told us the session was over and kicked us out. That was the last time I ever heard from him. Apparently, he tried to get the others to keep coming, but only a few went back and didn't keep going for very long. I can't blame them after what he did to my character. End post. Okay, DM's out there. I assume no one watching my videos act like this, but I need to make the point very clear to begin with. When you are DMing a game, your goal is to make a fun experience for the players. If you don't like what they picked for a class, it doesn't matter. The point of it is that they're having fun and you're having fun. You can have fun if someone's playing a role you don't like them playing. You know, it's it's not that difficult. But to railroad a player and punish them for playing something you didn't want them playing, like, that really goes against what a DM should be doing in D&D. 
And I'm just trying to sit here and think of what the players could have really done to avoid this, but there was very little telltale signs. The DM was really using a lot of cloak and dagger to come up with a way down the road to kill the player character, and I think anyone listening to this in that same situation would not have expected this to come. So yeah, my only advice is if you're a DM doing a campaign, think what's fun for your players first and foremost, then what you want to do in the campaign second, because ultimately... A happy player is a happy campaign. And as you could tell from what happened in this story, the campaign was just ruined after the DM went off the rails and did this. Anyhow, that's all for this story. If you liked it, and you want to see more of the videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon right next to it to be notified in the future. And while you're at it, if you'll also hit that like button, it'd be doing me a huge favor in order to let the channel reach new audiences. As always, the source of this story is in the description, and if you'd like to discuss it, be sure to head over to the comments too, so that we can talk about it there. With that all said, while you're waiting for a new video for me to come out, here are a few related videos from my channel that you can watch in the meantime.